most people don't know, uh, they don't have hospice telling them, hey, you're fixing to die. Many accidents happen. You could be walking in a grocery store in a crock pot, fall on your head, and kill you. You can be swimming in the ocean, and a shark kill you. You can be walking in Iceland, and a redneck in a Camaro run you over. You could be in the church up there, and the organ pipes, and those are big pipes. You could be up taking a picture of the organ pipes, and the organ pipes fall off, hit you on the head, you fall over, go to the hospital six days, be in a coma, Catholic priests march around you five times, saying Hail Mary, throw holy water on you, and you die and go to hell. It could happen. You could be a Dunkin' Donuts, think you're eating a, uh, a donut with caramel in it, but it's really uh, some kind of poison, and, and die in Dunkin' Donuts. Because there's Satanists in this town, and you guys might hire a Satanist, and they squirt a bunch of uh, strychnine in the donuts to wipe out the town. It could happen. <laughs> well, it could happen. The point of it is, it's all funny because we're alive. The point is, you don't know how you're going to die or when you're going to die. So the Bible is clear. Prepare to meet your God. The most important day of your life is not the day you buy Iceland gloves to keep warm. The most important day of your life is not the day you get married, come to Iceland, and see the northern lights in an igloo in the snow with husky dogs taking you on sleds. The most important day of your life is the day that you die. Because the day that you die, you face the God that gave you that finger that you point at your head with. And God's going to say, yes, I gave you that finger. And you mocked my servant with your finger. Now, depart from me. I never knew you. Hey, the bottom line is this. Either God knows you or God doesn't know you. You're either going to hell or you're going to heaven. And it really is up to you. It's up to you. Right now, home is right here. I live here today. Therefore, I confront you sinners with eternity today. Next week, perhaps I'll confront the United States of Sodom and Gomorrah. My country legalized same-sex marriage. They deserve Hurricane Matthew. They deserve Hurricane Matthew. Because Matthew in the Bible is a very important book. And the Word of God says that God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, that will he reap. If
if you sow to your flesh, you're going to reap destruction. If you sow to the Spirit, you're going to reap life and peace. You people, you want to celebrate John Lennon's loser birthday by lighting up a light every October 9th like somehow that loser brought peace into this world. That man, let me tell you what John Lennon is doing right now. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let me tell you what John Lennon is doing right now. He's burning in hell. John Lennon is burning in hell and so are you if you don't repent. If you do not repent and turn to Jesus Christ, God will allow His angels to throw you into the lake of fire. I celebrate the judgment of God. I celebrate the justice of my God. Because you people eat God's food every day. And then you want to go boo him and mock him, flip him birds, act like he doesn't exist. And then when you get to the judgment seat, you're going to say, why am I going to hell? Why am I going to hell? Because you deserve it. You deserve hell. When you reject God's plan of salvation, each and every one of you, you deserve hell. No one will ever be good enough to get to heaven without the blood of Jesus Christ. Only the blood of Jesus Christ can wash away sin. Jesus Christ died on a cruel cross to demonstrate the love of God. When you reject God's plan of salvation, Matthew chapter 10, Matthew chapter 10, Jesus said, you reject me, I must reject you. It's your fault if you go to hell. Nobody ever goes to hell accidentally. And that goes for Asia and all their Buddha statues. I don't feel sorry for Asia when they get an earthquake and all their idols come down. I don't feel sorry for the Catholic country, Italy, when they worship Mary and they have an earthquake. God is sick and tired of idolatry. God did not allow Jesus Christ to die on the cross so Mary could be worshipped. God never said in His Word, pray to Mary. Nowhere in the Word of God does it say to pray to Mary. If you pray to Mary, you're an idolater. And God says, no idolaters will enter the kingdom of God. 